here today at the art show for Jesse Homer, the Winchester Gallery on Oak Bay Avenue. So, Jesse, how are you today? Fine. Fine? Yeah. Uh, I have a question, well, one of the questions for about your art. I noticed that many of your paintings have a, a title yes. on the painting, mm -hmm. something that I haven't seen in many, many, many shows that I've been, uh -huh. well, many. Uh -huh. So can you tell us um, why you put a, a title on the paintings? Well, I'm a regional narrative painter. And so when I title it, I tell you where it is and what it's about and what's happening. Because otherwise you might not know. So when did you start doing this? Since you start painting in this way? Or? Uh, 1976, I guess, was my first one-man show. So since then it's been... Yeah, and I've always titled my paintings and... I, that's what I do. Other people don't, but I do. Okay. Another question that I have is about the, that figure over here. We will follow it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The stealth bomber? The stealth bomber, yes. yes. I've seen that in your paintings. Uh -huh. And I guess you have a series. Uh, can you tell us when do you start with... Um, painting them, why the idea came? Well, um, on 9-11, I was living on the Strait of Juan de Fuca, and the, the whole world shut down that day. Everything became silent, there were no boats, no planes, nothing. And for some reason, I just imagined a stealth bomber flying over the, uh, the Strait of Juan de Fuca, because in the 80s, they, they used to test them over the Olympic Peninsula before we even knew what they looked like. And I also think it's a great shape. I think it's really beautiful, a beautiful shape. Not like the predator drones that they have now. They're really ugly. They look kind of like white bugs. So I, I should be using those now, I guess. But I like the stealth bombers. So otherwise, uh, I guess you're fascinated with airplanes? Or, or only no, although I... The last show here, I did some paintings with Avril Arrows, and now you've heard about those. Yeah. Well, you have to admit it's a beautiful shape. stealth bombers on it because that's an anachronism so it's called stealth zeppelin so this is called sleepless in victoria not because i'm sleepless although i frequently am but because the poor seagulls downtown never get any sleep because the lights are always on and the, it's noisy and they can't sleep there's so many people um, eating and, uh... yeah well i think it's the light I think it's the light that keeps the seagulls from sleeping. But there they are, flying around all night, poor things. So you 
Let's say you paint a series of this type of paintings. A, a series of this exact spot. There's a couple more around the corner. survivors because this is a bull trout and this bull trout is definitely a survivor. This is in Canada in British Columbia where there was a serious forest fire. And um, fireweed survives and comes back and the first thing to come back after a big forest fire. And then the big bull trout is definitely a survivor. Wonderful.